when you're germinating and seed starting, you have a lot of different options of containers that can be used to start them. Uh, the standard option is to use these plug trays. Many, there are other farmers that like to use soil blocks, so that's something else we might discuss. But pretty standard are these plug trays, and there's a lot of different sizes, and that'll depend on the crop that you're starting, how long it's going to be in there and um, you know maximizing your space so right here we have what is a 288 plug tray which means it has 288 plugs in it and um, john can describe a little bit about what he typically plants in there and what he likes about it yeah most of the time um, i use the 288 tray for single seeded items uh, things that i'm not going to break apart you know because there's 288 cells it's pretty dense i can fit a lot of plants in this germination chamber with that Great. And then this is a 98, so it has 98 cells. Um, what would you typically put in this one? You have Tomatoes usually go in those. Uh -huh. um, still single seeded, but the time that they're in here under this temperature condition is a little longer, so I want a little bit more soil volume to take care of that. Exactly. So that just means a longer growing time exactly. before then mm -hmm. being transplanted typically into these six packs. That's right. Or Four packs, correct? That's correct. Yep. Usually I'll go with these 288s mm -hmm. right into the six packs. Great. And then if you really, really want to get <laughs> some dense planting, this here is a 512. You 512. Said. So 512 cells and very, very dense planting. So what would you put in here? What's kind of your. It would be pretty small single seeded items. Mm -hmm. You know, if you were doing some flower crops mm -hmm. that maybe take, you know, nine, 12 weeks in a plug tray. You can start off really small like this. You know, maybe your petunias that are almost like dust and yep. patience are another good one. You have a lot of different potting soils, things that you can use as your growing medium. Uh, typically you have a general purpose potting soil, which would uh, include perlite, peat moss, uh, some sort of nutrient charge, potentially to sort of help the plants along. It's also gonna be coarser, uh, not as fine as a seed germination mix, which is really just about getting the seeds to start to germinate. And uh, these are compressed bales, uh, so you can you know, use them efficiently. Uh, John has a specific system of how he starts his, these plug trays in particular, and I'd love to have him describe a little bit about what he does. I use a, a cement mixer to mm -hmm. fluff them up. Cement mixer, great. A cement mixer. Uh, fluff it up. These are compressed bales and uh, I use a table, a flat surface. I put a lot of trays together then fill them uh, and then I use a board basically to get them to get them all level. level. Uh -huh. um, I add just enough water in the cement mixer so it's not dusty. Okay. But not so much that it's a, a sludge. Great. You know, there's a fine line what fills the tray nicely yep. and, and, uh, and what leaves a lot of air spaces. Okay. I'm yep. using the same soil. I just, uh -huh. I just buy one one type and use it for everything that I do. And then you have, do you have some sort of um, seeding process that you use as well? When you, do you have like a little automated seeder, vibrates or do I you do, do it by hand? I do have the vibrating seeder, yes. Yep. Uh, independent of how bright it is out mm -hmm. here, I'll either seed out here. If yep. it's too bright and hot, yep. uh, I'll actually take it inside and seed. Mm -hmm. 